Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Now this week I've bought lots and lots of British silver coins from my antique shop and from online, loads of coins and loads of silver. So without any further ado, let's have a look at all the silver I've bought this week and one extra surprise. So here we have the coins and here's an order of coins I've bought we'll go through at the end and then here's some more miscellaneous ones I'll show you now a sneak peek and we'll go through these first. Ooh, right now I do apologise if you can hear any wind in the background as today as it is the lovely spring weather I am outside. So, without any further ado, let's move on to the first coin. And of all these coins, I did say that I bought lots of silver coins, there is one coin that is not silver. And it is this one here. Now this is a very hard coin to film indeed, um, because it's quite corroded. But I believe you can see there the date 1872. A rarer date of farthing, as this is an old Victorian bronze farthing. Now why is this one I've got? Why did I get this one? I got this one for free, first of all, from a friend who has had some coins. I had a look through and gave them a sort of valuation for them. And as a thank you, they said take one. And I took this one as it is one of the dates I still needed for my very own farthing collection. I believe I only need after this one, only need three more to finish my collection of farthings. So very good. So for free, with a bit of corrosion, it's quite good in my opinion. You know, and you can clearly, quite clearly see there the date in the, in the good lighting, 1872. So a great coin, one which I'm happy, very happy to have got. So there we go, that's the first coin, and we'll now move on to the silver coins, of which I bought many. Many, many, many silver coins indeed. Beginning with this, a 1920 near fine half crown, as you can see there from 1920, like it says. And this is, what it cost me rather, five pounds. A great deal, considering there's 7.07 .07 grams of silver, not far, off, not far off the scrap silver value of this coin. So, you know, I believe it scraps at about five pounds anyway. So just, you know, I'm going to get it out of here. And this is just a coin that I bought. I do have a better one in my collection in terms of condition for actually having the coin as a collectible piece. This I just bought because it is a quarter of an ounce of silver for a good price. And I do, I mean, I can never say no to some well-priced old silver. Comment down below if you agree. But I think, you know, a nice old silver coin at a good price is just so hard to refuse. And that's what I did today. Oh, that's what I didn't do today. I didn't refuse it. I saw it at the antique shop for five pounds. And I made it instantly mine for a £5 note. The George V half coin. There's a bit of something on there, but I don't really mind, like I say, because it is just a bullion coin for the collection. So there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now in here is a sort of style of coin you will have seen many of on the channel quite recently, because I've just been buying them left, right and centre, really, because I do love what these coins are. What are these? Well, you may have guessed if you've seen some recent videos, they are stuck, but now they're coming. Here we go. Whoa, tons of silver threepences. And these are all sterling ones. There's the one I dropped. So these are all sterling silver threepences. There are 19 here. And these cost me £19. Because at the antique shop I can buy these, or they sell these rather, for £1 each. So we'll zoom in here. Not, we we'll won't look through every single one, but we'll have a look at some of the dates. I believe these are all World War I era dates. We've got 19, 19, 1916. They're all George V, 1917, 1918, 1918, 1918, 1919. Yeah, so they're all the 19-teens around World War I era. And I think they just make a lovely sound. Um, in fact, I'll move the, uh, I'll put that there. It's the microphone. Hopefully you can still hear me. And let me just drop these next to the microphone. I hope you heard that. That's a lovely sound in my opinion. So there we go. There are 19 more silver three princes there. In, and you know, they're all quite good condition. They're all nice over a hundred year old coins. And just for one pound each for the 19 there, 19 pounds in total, I think another good addition for my silver once again they are just for the silver weight with this one here i have them all in my collection they're just bought for their silver content weight so there's you know there's about what's that about an ounce there then a quarter of an ounce so a one and a quarter ounces of silver that's all that was in the wooden box and we now unbox the mystery package here this was from ebay and i'll give away the price straight away this cost me 40 pounds with all free postage and everything so exactly 40 pounds for what is inside this paper so let's find out. Well, I mean, I know, but let's let's uh, show you. It's very hard to open, which is good because that means it's well packaged. Aha! I think you can just about see there some lovely silver coins, as I expected. And I must just say, I think the title, I'll put the title as something like this, but I, I just can't stop buying silver coins at the moment. I'm thoroughly addicted to just buying old silver British coins and adding them to the collection at, you know, a good price for the silver. Because I think as well as these being silver, which is always a good, it's a good metal in my opinion to have at good prices if you buy it. Um, the beauty, I mean, look at this, the beauty of these coins and the history 
is just so much better than a bullion coin. And if you can get them at a better price and they have more history and more better design, then why would you say no to some old silver coins? All right, we're finally in. Now these are meant, I think these are five shilling bundles. So five shillings of face values in each one. There's a uh, 10 shillings of old coins, 50% um, in various denominations, but 10 shillings worth. They were 20 pounds each, and so therefore 40 pounds for the two. Let's look at number one here. What do we have? Nice little silver coin hunt. So we have here the first one. That's a nice one, actually. This is what I mean. Just look at the beauty of that. This is a 1926 one shilling coin from George V. An absolute beauty. I, I mean, I, I just love this coin already. I, I'm very, very happy to, to have bought this because I'm already having very, a great time looking through these. And I think the silver content will be, in the long run, a good investment for the price. So the next one we have here is a 1928 one florin. So that's two shillings, one florin. With a lovely design there with the crowns, the scepters and the shields. And then we have to the obverse again, George V. And I believe these are, well, I think, yeah, they're, they're all going to be George V coins today. So, you know, loads of George V coinage, really great stuff. Another florin here, this one from 1930. Oh, hang on. It's either 1930 for florins or half crowns, but I believe nine, no, it's 32, I believe, for florins. That's a rare date. I think 1930 is a rare date for half crown, and 1932 is a scarcer date for florin, but you'll see on the screen anyway. And then we have here a 1935, again, the same design. And what a design that is. Imagine, you know, finding that in your change. What a beauty to have in your change. Precious metal, lovely design, a time when coins were much better than today, for sure. There's that one. We have a few more shillings now. We have up next, we have 1932. Ah, so this is the, maybe it's 1930 that's rare for a shilling, but I think these are all, you know, nothing spectacularly rare. I think 32 is rarer for a florin and 30 is rarer for a shilling. 1925, that's the rarer one for the half crown. The final two shillings we have here, we have a 1934. Again, a lovely, lovely coin, lovely design. And then finally, there he is again, George V. This one is 1933. So I wish that was a penny, but a nice shilling from that year, equally as good. 91 years old now. So these are all very old coins as well. Right then, on to the second bundle. I'll open this up and I'll have a look what we got in there. Right, so I've got the packet open there, the bag open. So we'll have a look what's inside. We'll go smallest to largest in denomination here. So we have up first a little silver threepence. This will be a 50% one. So unlike the sterling ones of earlier up there, this will contain half of the half of it will be silver. There's George V again. This is from 1931. Look at that. Lovely. Brilliant stuff there. 93 years old. And again, so these are all nearing 100 years of age, and they're just all lovely, lovely coins, as well as the silver. That's why I buy them, like I say, because they have the, old, the age and the silver. The next one here, we have a 1921. So the second year of 50% silver, still having that same design as this one, uh, the, these older sterling ones. The same design was kept on these until 1927. Lovely, lovely coin, 1921, great stuff indeed. And I like I say, I mean, I've just, I've just been really fallen back in love with old silver coins at the moment because these are just so beautiful for me, personally. Um, and then we have here a 1936, so the final year of King George V. And this portrait we've seen a lot today, this is by Bertram McKennell, and this is the only portrait of George V used on British coins. Lovely, lovely stuff indeed. Next up we have this one here, another lovely shilling. I mean, look at that. How, how far in can we zoom? Oh yeah, look at that. That's really cool. I mean, these shillings, despite the age, again, 91 years old for this. Great condition for the age. Hopefully I look at this good in 91 years. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lovely, lovely coin again. Great silver. And look at that. All the edges intact. Everything's just intact over almost a century. So that's a lovely, lovely coin once again. I've said lovely so much, but every one of these coins is truly lovely. Moving on, we have next up this one here. This is another shilling from 1929, same design. Next up onto the florins, we have this design once again from 1929, a very common year if memory serves, many millions of those ones. The final two coins we have, ah, this is an older one. Um, I do, I think I do prefer this design, the older design. This is from 1921. So an earlier year, 50%, so therefore an older design. So it's just a truly lovely, lovely, lovely design, as I've said, for every one of these coins, and a lovely, brilliant coin. A bit more worn to the obverse there, as it is a bit older. The final one is a half crown. Again, there he is, George V. Edge milling intact, and a, a different design. Whoop, a bit of a more modern one to that first one we saw there, from 1920. This is from 1933, with the concave shield and the crowned interlock Gs for George V. 
legend around and date there to the side brilliant stuff so there we go let's zoom out on that i'm um, hopeful i do i mean I, I can't see the screen very well i must say so hopefully they are all showing their true beauty here in the british springtime sunlight but look at that a big pile of british silver coins ranging from you know the early world war one dates up till the 1930s and i think overall this cost me so that'll be 19 pounds plus five pounds 24 pounds plus 40 64 pounds and then this for free as well so 64 pounds for all of this is in my opinion a very good deal and as always please comment down below the favorite or your, your favorite coin of this bundle for me i mm, i do like these shillings i must say it's so one of the shillings would be my favorite but do let me know yourself so there we go i think a nice lovely variety there of british coins that one farthing for the date run then loads of silver from three princes shillings florins and half crowns lots of amazing coins and as i say please do comment down below the best one in your opinion your favorite from today if you've enjoyed the video then please do leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future in bits and bobs bye for now